Hey guys, this is Wendy Cottrell, LuLaRoe Wendy Cottrell, and I have been officially selling for one week now, and so I wanted to give an update on my numbers and where I'm at. Um, just to recap, I sent in my paperwork on February 26th. I was onboarded on April 28th. I received my first box of inventory on May 11th. And that was not my initial inventory. It was another order that I had placed um, after I onboarded. So got my first box on the 11th, got my initial inventory on the 12th. Today is May 18th, so one week after I got my first box. Um, I did Periscope sales on the 11th, the 12th, and the 13th. And then I had um, my Material Girls debut on Sunday, this past Sunday, and then I put my inventory on my Facebook page. And so that's, those are the things that I did um, during this first week. Um, and my sales for the very first week were $2,420 in seven days. I cannot believe it. Um, I know there's probably people that do more and people that do less, but I am very, very pleased. Um, it has been a lot of work. This is not easy. If you think you're just going to make money without doing any work, you're dead wrong. Um, I've had very little sleep, but I have really enjoyed all of this. Um, taking all the pictures, shipping and packaging and figuring out, figuring out your shipping process. Um, I got a, a Dymo printer and it worked for exactly four labels and then decided to not work anymore. And so that was quite an ordeal. I had to go back to my other printer and, and then of course I didn't have enough mailing tape to tape on all the labels and there were, we had to go to the store really quick cause I wanted to get my packages out. And so it's been a learning process and I think you have to expect that there's going to be hiccups and there's going to be a learning curve to everything. Um, I think I pretty much have everything going pretty smoothly right now and um my dymo has come back to life i have emailed the support people a few times and i think it's back to life now we'll see what happens when i go to ship again um so i placed another order on friday so i got my first box on wednesday placed another order on friday that will be here this coming friday and then I placed another order on Monday and that order will be here next Monday and I'm just trying to order when I have enough um, when I have enough to do a 33 piece order to order that way to get small orders and then to kind of build where I have holes in my inventory I didn't get um, any extra larger 2x perfect tees in my initial inventory so I was working on that. I didn't get a whole lot of maxis, I only got five in each size so I'm building up on that and I also didn't get any small cassies um, so I'm working on getting those up to power. So I want to have 10 to 15 in each size of each style that I carry and, um, and they should be unique prints. Um, there are duplicates and triplicates and quadruplicates out there. Um, so that's hard. And I actually ran into a, um, a consultant at the post office. I was dropping off packages and I was coming out and I saw a girl in leggings with a Ikea bag and I'm like, Oh, LuLaRoe. And so we talked and, um, she just moved here from, um, Texas and she said we could swap inventory. So I'm looking forward to doing that and getting some different stuff. And also there are two other consultants in the Baton Rouge area. So I got us in a little group and I think we're going to try and get together on a regular basis and swap out inventory for when we have duplicates and just kind of do new stuff. So I'm really excited about that and I'm excited about where this is going to take me. Um, I am, I would love to build a team. So if you're interested, um, my contact information is in my profile and I would love to talk to you and answer any questions you have. And I think that's it for now. Thanks.